But we start with correspondent Kelly Meyer. She is live in Washington, Kelly, with more on the details we're learning today from the White House. Yeah, Nicole, and I can't emphasize enough that we've been watching for something like this from the White House for months uh, now, if not years, waiting to see if they might take executive action, uh, sign an executive order at the border here. Uh, and this is something that we are expecting from President Biden today, a major move from this administration. They're framing this as Congress failed to act on the border, so now we have to step in. A senior, a senior administration official saying that the border is, quote, not manageable. So this will limit the number of migrants who cross a legally from seeking asylum in the U.S. once the average number of daily encounters hits 2,500 between ports of entry. The border will only reopen once that number declines to 1,500. Now, April numbers average nearly 6,000 encounters a day, so this would essentially go into effect immediately. Now, a number of mayors are going to be uh, surrounding Biden as he signs this order here today, a number of mayors from border towns and cities, but there's still a number of mayors that were not invited or will not be attending. We know the mayor in Del Rio, which is a blue area, wasn't contacted either. Yuma Mayor Doug Nichols received the call but declined because of scheduling issues. And uh, a mayor in the San Diego area says that the mayors here were handpicked by the president, he says, adding, quote, this is nothing but a sham and an insult to those of us dealing with the real consequences of his failed border policies. And, Nicole, it isn't just mayors that might not be showing up here today. It's also Democrats, Senate Democrats, those in President Biden's own party that are declining invitations here. And those are the senators that have tough re-elections come November. That's like Bob Casey in Pennsylvania or Jackie Rosen in Nevada. They also aren't set to be here for this announcement happening just a few hours from now. Nicole. Uh, yeah, we will certainly see uh, what the president says. Kelly, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.